In Creole Parametric, there is a constraint called Oriented that you can get when you're trying to assemble a second set of axes or cylindrical surfaces. Let's take a look at how that works. Here I am in an assembly. It's got the left side of the crankcase. Let's click on the Assemble icon to grab the right side of the crankcase. I'm going to use In Session because I have it open in another window. Make it easier to pick. And I'll use the display dragger or the 3D dragger in order to move the component approximately closer to where I want it to be. And for my first constraint, I'm going to pick the axis going through the center of this. And actually, before I pick my second constraint, let's take a look at the available constraints. Here you can see that we have options like distance and coincident and fix and default but you do not see oriented in the list here. And also while I'm here, let's use the icon to turn off the display of the 3D dragger for a moment, just to help myself pick the second axis. And here we get the coincident constraint. And now when I go to create my second constraint, if I go to the constraint dropdown list, well, you can take a look at the different values in here. Again, we have the same ones as before, but oriented is not in the list. When I go to select another axis, maybe the axis of that hole, now when I go to the constraint type drop down list, you'll see that oriented is in here. And I'm not going to choose oriented. I'm going to leave the automatic option. The automatic option will choose your constraint for you based on the references that you select. And so for my other reference, let's pick this axis here. And you'll notice now we get the oriented option. And the idea behind the oriented option is that sometimes you're trying to line up a second set of axes or holes or cylindrical surfaces, and they're not actually going to be coincident with each other. This gives you a little bit of slack, a little bit of leeway. The second set of axes, when you have oriented selected, is going to make the pairs of axes lie in the same plane and be parallel to one another. It also helps make your model a little bit more robust, a little less likely to end up with a regeneration failure if you were to use, say, the coincident constraint instead. And so that's why you get oriented in here. And just to finish this off, let's pick this surface and then this surface and change it from distance to coincident. Hit the check mark. And there we have our component assembled in here. And again, it is using oriented as one of the constraints, which we can see in the placement folder in the model tree. And you do not have to use axes in order to get the oriented constraint. Let's take a look at an example of this. Let me go to a, another assembly that I have open. Right now I have my axes displayed. Let's turn them off. And I'm going to grab this second component, edit definition. Right now it has no constraints. I will select a cylindrical surface here and a cylindrical surface there. We get the coincident constraint. And then, oops, accidentally hit the middle mouse button when I was trying to rotate. Let's edit definition and add in our constraint for this flat surface and grab the flat surface on the other part. Right now we're getting distance. Let me change that to coincident. By the way, I'm using the placement tab in the dashboard to do that. Be aware that you can also double click on the note in the graphics area and change it from there as well. Let's make that coincident. And right now it is fully constrained if I allow assumptions. Well, let's go add another constraint and I'll pick this cylindrical surface. And let's close the little window for constraints. Let me pick this other cylindrical surface. And you'll notice that we get oriented in this situation. So again, it makes the sets of axes or cylindrical surfaces coplanar and parallel to one another. And again, here we have a situation where those holes clearly couldn't be coincident, but we are making them oriented. And that's how the oriented constraint works. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed 
when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.